Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host Bailey. How's it going everybody? This is a watch me work video, my right hand day video. Um, I totally changed my shape and did this really cute bee inspired design with like dripping honey and some honeycombs. Um, this design in particular is um, inspired by um, House of Deva. I will insert the photo here. So I definitely had to change it up because left hand, like intricacy for left hands is, well my left hand, very hard. Um, I'm surprised I actually got the honeycomb on at least one nail, but I switched. I put like some drips um, and I changed up the gems in that because I didn't have the bee gem. So I made it kind of my own. So this was inspired by her. So I hope you guys enjoy watching me. I love watching the monitor, or not monitor, phone screen. I should be looking here at you guys. There's something in my eye. I'll pick it out after. Anyways, if you guys want to see how I did this on my left hand, keep watching. Okay, so I did start this video originally talking in the video, but I ended up having to voice over because of loudness. So I'm just going through the materials. I will have them listed down below. Um, I don't use everything, I don't think. Um, and I do add another color afterwards. Um, I have various things here. I'll go through them as I'm designing. So I kind of uh, drew it down how I was going to change the design. And I'm first cleaning my little tile here. I'm using some Tips and Toes base coat. I find when you're going to shear out a color, if you use base coat, you have better like stickiness versus using a top coat. I don't know, that's just me. So I'm taking a little bit of this um, yellow color and I believe it's 602. And then I'm adding just a touch of this orange because I want it to be kind of like a burnt yellow sheer color for the two polka dot nails so i'm just kind of messing around with that until i get the color the way i want it because i didn't quite have the color i wanted so when that is all said and done there um i'm trying to find somewhere to stabilize my finger so i'm doing my ring and thumb in this kind of sheer burnt orangey yellow color And then once done, I will do two coats. I don't know why I recorded doing the second coat, but we do two coats and fully cure in my UV LED lamp for 60 seconds each. Always checking your sidewalls and tips, still making sure you cap, even though they're almonds, still gotta check all the way around. And then I'm taking, uh, this is 1624. It's kind of like a caramelly brownie orange color that I thought would go well. I didn't want to quite go with such a dark brown like the photo. And you guys are going to watch me struggle doing little lines here. So I'm kind of doing like the negative space uh, look here, trying to make it even. And I find this uh, burnt color here goes really well with the rest of the set. And then I'm filling in the bottom below the line, so towards the tip and leaving the cuticle area um, a negative space. And I will do two coats of this to make it opaque and come back after two coats are finished. So on this one, I'm taking um, the much brighter 1601 yellow and I'm doing kind of like, I don't know, like an upper triangle, I guess you'd say, negative space. I'm just kind of making this little triangle area, trying to mirror the tip as best I can. See how awkwardly I hold things with my left hand, guys? And then I fill that in and I will do two coats of that as well after I've cured each layer for 60 seconds in the LED. 
So there's a second coat. So now I'm going to take that same bright yellow and a dotting tool and on the two sheer colors, I'm going to evenly space um, and take my time with polka dots. Polka dots can easily get messed up if you don't take your time with them. I learned that the hard way. And no matter how many times you have to load your dotting tool to get consistent dots as well, I find that's a good key thing. And cure those. Now they are cured. I'm going to take the. Oh my gosh, this is so tedious. And I do realize after the first little bit that I'm off camera here and I will bring my hand up and I do believe I zoom in a little more as well. But what you can't see is I'm lining the top of that little triangle I did and I started like the first little honeycomb shape. And that's when I realized I was off camera. And then I'm going to awkwardly continue making as even of honeycomb shapes as I can in the yellow space. sure that I cap the edges of my gems so that they don't fall off.
Okay, guys, there they are. I love them so much. They turned out so great. I just added some juicy pomegranate oil. Um, one thing um, I'm going to note, when you're doing your gems, especially like near the tip like this and like back here, you want to make sure that when you do the glue, like my method is I do like the nail glue to put them on there and then I do my top coat and I make sure that, I don't know if you guys can see how the sides are covered really well, how they're kind of like it flows from one side to the other so that you know, these aren't rough and they're not going to get caught on anything. And I even like, I take my, uh, my tiny little brush and I go around behind here too. Cause as these grow out, they're going to get kind of catchy, but if you cap them properly, you should still have them. So any I hope you guys like the shape change. I'm loving it. I think that it's absolutely gorgeous on my hands because I have trapezoid nail beds and I was told that uh, almonds complement trapezoid uh, nail beds nicely. So we're going to see how they do. And I did them pretty long. But, you know, I'm super happy with them. They're so sexy. I love them. Anywho, click, comment, like up this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. Uh, make sure you set your bell notification to all. I post every few days. I don't know what the content's going to be, but it's content. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at bc underscore jazzy underscore time. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get to another video. So I hope you guys all stay tuned and stay jazzy.